Greetings to all. In this video, we are going to understand 25 MCQs on the poem After Apple Picking, written by Robert Frost. In this video, we are going to understand 25 multiple choice questions. From the poem After Apple Picking, written by Robert Frost. Question number one. What is Robert Frost's most famous poem? Option A, The Vast Land. Option B, The Road Not Taken. Option C, Stopping by Woods on a Snowy Evening. Option D, The Love Song of J. Alfred Prufrag. What is Robert Frost's most famous poem? Which is the correct answer? The correct answer is option B, The Road Not Taken. Question number two. Where was Robert Frost born? In yeah, New York City, USA, Boston, USA, San Francisco, USA, Lawrence, Massachusetts, USA. Where was Robert Frost born? The correct answer is option D. Lawrence, Massachusetts, USA. Option D is the correct answer. Question number 3. Which of the following themes is commonly explored in Robert Frost's poetry? Option A. Industrialization. Option B. Nature and rural life. Option C, Futurism. Option D, Surrealism. Which of the following themes is commonly explored in Robert Frost's poetry? Can you guess what is the correct answer? Option B, Nature and Rural Life. Nature and Rural Life. Question number four. What prestigious award did Robert Frost win four times during his lifetime? Option A. Pulitzer Prize. Option B. Nobel Prize in Literature. Option C. Booker Prize. Option D. National Book Award. What prestigious award did Robert Frost win four times during his lifetime? The correct answer is option A, Pulitzer Prize. Pulitzer Prize. Option A is correct answer. Question number five. Which poetic form did Robert Frost often use in his works? Characterized by its simple language and traditional meter. Option A, free words. Option B, haiku. Option C, sonnet. Option D, villanelle. Which poetic form did Robert Frost often use in his works, characterized by its simple language and traditional meter? The correct answer is option C, sonnet. 
question number six what is the central metaphor in after apple picking what is the central metaphor in the poem after apple picking option a harvesting drinks option b falling leaves option c ripe apples option d winter sleep the correct answer is option a harvesting drinks question number 7 What does the speaker express regret about in the poem? Option A failing to harvest all the apples. Option B not taking a break during the day. Option C choosing the wrong ladder. Option D missing the beauty of nature. what does the speaker express regret about in the poem the correct answer is option b not taking a break during the day not taking a break during the day option b is the correct answer question number 8 What is the predominant mood of the poem? Option A joyful, option B regretful, option C sorrowful, option D nostalgic. What is the predominant mood of the poem? The correct answer is option B regretful. Regretful. Option B is the correct answer. question number 9 what does the ladder symbolize in the poem option a ascent to success option b the passage of time option c the challenges of life option d a connection to nature what does the ladder symbolize in the poem the correct answer is option b the passage of time question number 10 which season is mentioned predominantly in the poem A. Option A. Spring. Option B. Summer. Option C. Autumn. Option D. Winter. Which season is mentioned predominantly, prominently, sorry, prominently in the poem? The correct answer is option C. Autumn. question number 11 what does the speaker compare the apples to in the poem option a stars option b snow flakes option c tears option d dreams what does the speaker compare the apples to in the poem The correct answer is option C tears. Question number 12. What does the speaker mean by I am drowsing off in the poem? Option A falling asleep. Option B daydreaming. Option C feeling exhausted option d losing consciousness 
what does the speaker mean by i am drowsing off in the poem the correct answer is option a falling sleep falling sleep option a is the correct answer question number 13 in the poem what is the significance of the speaker's magnified apple's vision option a the beauty of nature option b a distorted perception of reality option c the abundance of the harvest option d the speaker's tiredness once again i understand the question in the poem what is the significance of the speaker's magnified apples vision the correct answer is option b a distorted perception of reality a distorted perception of reality is the correct answer question number 14 what does the speaker say about the woodchuck in the poem option a it is a symbol of death option b it is a companion in the archer option c it is a creature of the night option d it is a reminder of mortality what does the speaker say about the woodchuck in the poem the correct answer is option c it is a creature of the night it is a creature of the night question number 15 what is the speaker's attitude toward the task of apple picking by the end of the poem option a satisfaction option b frustration option c indifference option d determination what is the speaker's attitude toward the task of apple picking by the end of the poem the correct answer is option b frustration option b frustration is the correct answer question number 16 what does the speaker imply when he says essence of wind sleep in on the night in the poem option a the coldness of winter option b the end of the harvest season option c the weariness of the speaker option d the beauty of winter nights once again understand the question what does the speaker imply when he says essence of wind sleep is on the night in the poem the correct answer is option c the weariness of the speaker option c the weariness of the speaker is the correct answer question number 17 in the poem what is suggested by the phrase one can see what will trouble the speaker in his sleep option a dreams of apple orchards option b unfinished tasks and regrets option c nightmares about falling option d 
memories of childhood in the poem what is suggested by the phrase one can see what will trouble the speaker in his poem in his sleep the correct answer is option b unfinished tasks and regrets question number 18 what does the speaker mean by i am over tired of the great harvest i myself desired in the poem option a the speaker is exhausted from harvesting option b the speaker regrets desiring a bountiful harvest option c the speaker is proud of his harvest option d the speaker wishes for a larger harvest what does the speaker mean by i am over tired of the great harvest i myself desired in the poem the correct answer is option b the speaker regrets desiring a bountiful harvest question number 19 what role does the ladder play in the speaker's reflections in the poem option a it represents the speaker's ambition option b it symbolizes the passage of time and life's choices option c it is a tool for climbing apple trees option d it signifies the speaker's fear of heights what role does the ladder play in the speaker's reflections in the poem the correct answer is option b it symbolizes the passage of time and life's choices question number 20 what does the speaker suggest about the process of apple picking in the poem it is an easy and enjoyable task option b it requires careful planning and strategy option c it is a monotonous and tedious job option d it is a solid solid uh, solitary and lonely activity what does the speaker suggest about the process of apple picking in the poem the correct answer is option c it is a monotonous and tedious job it is a monotonous and a dds job option c is the correct answer question number 21 according to the poem what does the speaker plan to do with the apples that remaining unpicked option a leave them leave them for the birds option b use them for chider option c donate them to the poor option d store them for the next season according to the poem what does the speaker plan to do with the apples that remain unplugged unpicked 
the correct answer is option a leave them for the birds option a leave them for the birds it's the correct answer question number 22 What is the significance of the speaker's reference to a barrel's load in the poem? Option A, it represents the speaker's wealth. Option B, it symbolizes the abundance of the harvest. Option C, it signifies the speaker's Physical strength, option D, it is a measurement of time. What is the significance of the speaker's reference to a barrel's load, barrel's load in the poem? The correct answer is option B, it symbolizes the abundance of the harvest. Question number 23. What does the speaker contemplate about the woodchuck in the poem? The woodchuck's burrow. Option B, the woodchuck's role in the ecosystem. Option C, whether the woodchuck is dead or alive. Option D. The woodchuck's ability to predict the weather. What does the speaker contemplate about the woodchuck in the poem? The correct answer is option C. Whether the woodchuck is dead or alive. Question number 24. What does the speaker mean whether he says, But I am done with apple picking now in the poem? Option A. The speaker is physically unable to continue picking apples. Option B. The harvest season is over. Option C. The speaker is emotionally drained from the task. Option D. The speaker is expressing regret. What does the speaker mean when he says... But I am done with apple picking now in the poem. The correct answer is option B. The harvest season is over. Question number 25. It's the last question. What does the speaker imply about the Consequences of his tiredness in the poem. Option A. He may fall from the ladder. Option B. He will sleep soundly. Option C. He will dream about apples. Option D. He will retire from apple picking. What does the speaker imply about the consequences of his tiredness in the poem? The correct answer is option A. He may fall from the ladder. He may fall from the ladder. Is the correct answer. Thank you for watching this video.